Good morning, folks. That coronal cavity that shifted back to a tall standing plasma filament yesterday has had its eruption stall. It curled over and settled back down into another phalanx of prominence ropes, not unlike the one it had before. In slightly increased contrast of 211 angstroms, you can see how many individual filaments exist at the end. You will also be able to notice this at the end of 171 angstrom frame view as well. Those filaments are back down on the disc, and they're turning in. But let's come now over to spaceweathernews.com and step back looking at the last 24 hours on our star. Big dark coronal hole departing up north, but pops and small flashes should begin to steal focus towards the bright areas incoming from the left. We're seeing a little increase in solar flaring up into C-class range, but it is not from the big sunspots facing us, Earth facing quiet, standing on its chest right now. We've got more incoming at the limb flashes, sunspots not yet visible on the disk, but we can see that they are putting out at least some minor CME ejecta from behind the limb. Solar wind is re-intensifying slightly this morning, causing some low-level geomagnetic storms only. We'll keep an eye on it, though. We had a 6.4 earthquake strike more than 500 kilometers beneath Fiji, which might not have even been felt much up at the ground level, and after yesterday's big one in the Atlantic and with continued rumbles to the north of and at Iceland, I request somebody go sing Katla a lullaby just so she stays asleep. Two interesting links today. First, two videos of the TDRS fleet. It includes the Van Allen probes, the MMS, a number of low Earth orbit craft. You can download these videos and learn a lot more about the spacecraft and a bit about their orbits as well in the link provided. We also have one about brown dwarf clouds. They are discovering banded structure, much like we'd expect on Neptune or one of the other gas giants. Its weather is much more terrestrial than stellar. Folks, in today's members podcast, we'll be discussing yesterday's second video topic in more detail. What do we make of Alphen versus Reconnection, or Robitaille versus Kirchhoff in the radiative battle shared yesterday? Plus, we've got more focus and some key points revisiting the Vax topic. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.